All right, welcome back to the Mimosa Lounge. I'm Lyndon here with Jim from the Magic City Mimosa Festival. Big event coming up this Saturday. Before we get yes. into the science and the details of how to make the perfect mimosa, tell us a little bit about the festival. So we are super excited. This is our inaugural event here in Birmingham, and it's the Magic City Mimosa Festival at Sloss Furnace from 1 to 5 this Saturday. And so basically it's celebrating everything brunch, everything mimosa, Right, who doesn't love mimosas? Who doesn't love mimosas? <laughs> exactly, it's the favorite brunch item. Okay, brunch is such a lifestyle these days. So it I is. know people at home are gonna be very curious since you're the mimosa expert on how to craft the perfect mimosa. So you have your champagne over there. We have fruit here and orange juice. Just take it away. When, how, let's just start with how do you pick what champagne you're gonna use? So usually I like a light, um, less acidy type okay. of to make it to blend with because you know orange juice has a lot of acid in it mm -hmm. so i go with somewhat of a sweet champagne or prosecco okay. to go with and i do like to top it with fruit right it gives it a little bit more texture a little bit more color more antioxidants exactly it's, it's like all about healthy a smoothie all right so you're going to use the sweet champagne at the Mimosa Festival, you can obviously try some orange juice, but you're going to have other mixers, so to speak, that you can mix with champagne. Yeah, so we're going to have um, we're going to have different liqueurs for flavoring. So we're going to have Bellinis, which is a peach uh, mimosa. We're going to have blackberries. We're going to have strawberries, and we're going to have raspberries. Okay. To do top off. So any of those are also included into your ticket price. Mm -hmm. And the special thing about this event, it's bottomless. Who doesn't love a bottomless it's, mimosa? It's the best deal in town. Now go yes. ahead and tell us, I cannot pop a bottle of champagne. It was embarrassing when I got engaged. <laughs> I couldn't get it off. So tell us how to safely, you know, so crack this thing open. You want to take off, the, you know, these are those little tabs that you take off, mm -hmm. the aluminum feeling. Mm -hmm. And then what I do is like to hold it out because you don't want to poke anyone in the eye. Yes. No one needs that tragedy, mm -mm. right? And then slowly take the framing off. Okay. Right? And there's a lot of pressure in here. Oh, you're nervous. I can nervous. feel it. I can feel it. Okay. So I just have a good grip on it and slowly, this takes me back to my restaurant days. Okay. Slowly, slowly, slowly <laughs> pop everyone's favorite yes. sound. Yes. Okay. Right? Okay. That, so the key is to move slow. The key is to move slow. Okay. And so some people like a lot of OJ, how I drink it at home is this thank okay. you so i just take a little bit little oj a splash a splash wish that guy around what what does that do just you know starts to go around the cup okay right so you have that orange flavor drink this okay and then the champagne goes in okay right and so when you're pouring champagne you want to hit the edge of the glass okay right so the bubbles so come tips. up yeah good pour it's a good it's a good pour it's big glasses right um the festival will have 16 ounce cups the weather's gonna be kind of warm so we're gonna put it over ice okay but we don't do that at home okay and so you have your cup and then who doesn't like a little fruit fruit okay when we come back we're gonna top this puppy off with some fruit orange juice and show you the final product i hope you're learning everything mimosa jim we'll finish this up <laughs> in a few minutes <laughs> 